what can we think about endogenous DMT in terms of uh, spiritual reality and ordinary existence? No, I think first of all, it's um, it, it's a mystery in itself how that you could uh, eat or smoke or ingest something in very minute quantities and then have this uh, com complete change of being, uh, like the LSD experience, where you take what micrograms, and then all this stuff happens. So people think. Maybe it's a question of neurochemistry, neurotransmitters, hormones, and so on. That the, uh, if you think the mind is in the brain, then uh, you can eat something which ends up in the brain, changes its mechanics, and therefore it changes your mentation, and then you could have an idea. So I think that, first of all, the... Uh, psychedelic experience completely negates the idea of the mind is in the brain. And uh, I, I don't think that ideas are in the brain or that uh, memories are in the brain. And memories are somewhere else in a memory bank. <clears throat> and the uh, psychedelic experience is actually a kind of a rocket ship where you can go beyond the realm of things that could be explained by neurochemistry and so on. So <clears throat> it's, a, it's a huge mystery how it works, and contemplating that mystery in, in itself changes your model, uh, your cosmology. Meanwhile, <clears throat> this experience is so, I think, uh, not constant, but uh, familiar for a lot of different people and is so easily acquired and so much information comes with so little effort that it is a kind of a miracle. It's a miraculous way for us to transcend ordinary reality and obtain maybe an intimation of what's necessary for uh, survival. Whereas any orthodox religion or ordinary spiritual practice like Zen, uh, sitting zazen and, and uh, so on, <clears throat> you might do for a lifetime without actually having that breakthrough that your um, metaphor changes, your reality gains a new structure, new intelligence, and so on. So it could be I mean, that Terence McKenna is right about the food of the gods, that we wouldn't have language if it weren't for mushrooms. And now maybe we wouldn't have survival without DMT. The DMT is somehow, it seems to me in my experience, uh, more of a breakthrough than LSD, mushrooms, peyote, and, and so on. And it's uh, more of an experience. It's more instructive. It's more supportive of future evolution and the creation of the future. And it is, in itself, more of a mystery. How could this little stuff produce something that has intelligence, you know, that, that is actually a doorway to another reality?